Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be going over some of the worst female firearm fails. So I stumbled upon quite a few hilarious firearm fail videos. And in this one in particular, it's all women. Before we move on to the content, I wanna thank Goat Guns for sponsoring today's video. Turn your firearm collection addiction into something a little more affordable and without having the ATF knocking at your door because you just purchased an RPG, which Goat Guns does carry. You receive a box that looks something like this. You put it together just as you would a real firearm. It even has functional parts and then you'll get a final product. Now I know this is an AK and that was a 1911. But I'm just here showing you that there's a variety of firearms that you can choose from. They just launched the SCAR, and then soon they did do a little sneak peek. They will be releasing a Chris Vector, which is what I actually have right behind me. That one's in white. I don't recommend purchasing white firearms because it's really impossible to keep clean. To make our addiction even worse, they have attachments and optic upgrades. For a fidgeter like me, you always gotta be messing with something. These are my go-to. Everything has a functional moving part. The bolt even goes back on the AK. The safety goes up and down. The magazine can be released. The trigger can be pulled. The stock can be adjusted. I mean, it goes on and on from here. They have a whole lot of variety to choose from. So get your collection started and click on the link below to save 10% off of Goat Guns. What really sucks about most of these women that are in this video is they kind of set them up for failure. No one really gave them instructions and no one told them what to do. So essentially, I feel like half of the blame is on the guys who set them up for this. Squeeze it. Put your tongue back in your oh, mouth. Her tongue was hanging out. Ugh, dude, it hits her right in the forehead. I really wish they would have shown a picture of her face afterwards because I'm really curious what her face would have looked like after. I just love how the 50 AE can be so unforgiving if you don't have your wrist nice and tight. People think if you grip the pistol harder with your hands that it's going to help, but actually more in the wrist, in your elbows, in your back and shoulders that give you that leverage over the pistol. You know this one's going to be bad when she has a pistol grip shotgun and has a confused look on their face. I'm pretty sure we can all predict what's gonna happen. Yeah. Go, uh, <gasps> okay, I assumed that that was gonna happen, but I also didn't think that the shotgun barrel was gonna go aim at the cameraman's face, which, yikes. I feel like a lot of these dudes don't think these accidents are gonna happen and they're kind of putting their life at stake. So let's move on to one where this could have been so much better for her if they would have just showed her how to shoulder the shotgun properly and kind of gave her a better stance. She's leaned back. The shotgun's probably going to put her on her ass. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> At least there wasn't an accident, but I just, mm, I kind of feel sorry for them because no one is showing them how to properly do this. It could save them so much embarrassment and an accident if people actually showed them. Maybe that'll be our next video. All right, so here's a really good example of what you should do with someone who's never shot a gun before. You see, they're showing her how to position her hands. You got someone behind her on her shoulders. Oh, wait. Thumbs together, lined up. There, there you, you go. go. Squeeze the trigger. Oh. What happened? Let's watch that again. Trigger. God, that muzzle flip, dude. She, that could have been so freaking bad for those people that are to her left. Oh. My gosh. What happened? Why did you do that? You had the trigger. I think it went twice. I think it did too. Why did, did you shoot do that? both? Yeah. <laughs> you shot both. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. You tougher than I thought. I got fast reflexes, sorry. <laughs> Okay, on this one, I've never seen a shotgun go flying this far behind anybody in any video that I've seen on the internet. Damn. <laughs> you watch this in slow motion. Damn. That went on the other side of the room, dude. I need to watch this one more time. Now, obviously, this wouldn't be a female firearm fail video if we didn't have someone getting scoped. So squeeze that trigger, don't pull it. Give us a heads up before you shoot, and you're ready. All right, I'm going to shoot. Okay, Galvin, hold on, hold on, sleep. Galvin, come And her finger's on the trigger right now. Hold on just a second, Jess. 
Oh, uh, God, someone please fix okay, this. <laughs> she was ready. Go ahead whenever you're ready. I'm ready. Oh, crap. Yo, what happened? Where am I waiting for my head? Yeah, tilt your head back. Oh! Uh, go get a, uh... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> They literally set her up for this, honestly. This poor girl. I mean, someone should have put that stock into her shoulder properly. I like how he stands behind her like he's going to help. Like he's helping in this situation. Like I'm just going to stand behind her shoulder. Uh... <laughs> oh, crap. He says, oh, oh crap. Hey, at least if she gets a scar, it's a pretty cool scar. All right, this one is a classic. If you've been on the internet, you've definitely seen this video before. But we have to show it because this girl basically just gives up on life. <laughs> One more time. Instant ragdoll. I gotta keep him coming. He's just never get old. Ooh. Oh. oh my gosh. Dude, it went like through her armpit and the barrel like went into her face. Holy shit. We gotta watch that again. Oh, God. It's funny because everyone's laughing because she fell, but I understand it's still funny, but if this was like your mother or something and she died, oh, that could have been really freaking bad. All right, pistol. Probably nine millimeter. What you got? Okay, she's looking back for confirmation of something. That wasn't bad. It's only my the oh, it went down her, down her top. <gasps> oh! Okay, I just did a YouTube video of the five rules to firearm safety. She was doing really, really good up until the casing went down her top, and then she went and turned, probably with her finger on the trigger. I don't know. I couldn't really tell, and aimed the gun. At everybody yeah it looks like her fingers on the trigger here i don't know maybe not but uh do y'all have a death wish or something whenever you take women to the range you don't show them how to do it properly or the five rules for arms y'all want to die because this is how you die unfortunately for this poor girl they gave her a shotgun into her bicep this is going to give her the worst freaking dead arm of her life probably <laughs> <laughs> yep it's all that coming and now the other girl is going up to shoot and she also has that in her bicep so another dead arm incoming okay she handled that one pretty well you know let's see if she said when she cycles another one Okay, I think. All right. I know what they did. I'm pretty sure they gave them birdshot for the first round, and then the second round that they cycled through was probably a slug. That's what happened. It's pretty funny. <laughs> Okay, so in this video, you can clearly tell that she's uncomfortable here. Her hips are forward, teacup grip thing going on. This is gonna be painful. Relax. It wasn't bad at all. Wait, what? Oh, the casing popped her in the lip. Okay. She just dumped. She literally just threw that gun on the ground and said, fuck this. I will give it to the guys, though. They only gave her one round when she shot the gun. You don't have to worry about an ND or, or any accidents happening. And that's it for female firearm fails with me. <laughs> Y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure you leave a comment below. And if you have any hilarious things that you would like to see me break down, let me know in the comments. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Y'all stay safe out there.